And welcome back to another Crack and Packs video. I'm your host, Mr. Rivers. That's right. Today we're going to get some more punishment in by opening up a box of Aether Revolt. We opened up all those pre-release kits and we found nothing. And by that I mean we found one masterpiece invention. And we found a few things here and there. But we didn't get like any like, you know, no foil copies of Metallic Mimic or Walker or anything like that. So anyway... I bought this box a while ago. Uh, it was actually, um, I put it on order when Salmon and Unscrewed were talking about doing the uh, the Masterpiece series, where we basically all compete to see who could open one first. And of course, as everyone knows, Salmon just slaughtered us and opened one in his first first box. So, uh, anyway. We're going to do it this way. Get those out of there. There it is, boom. Oh, no, this is this way. And that's that way. Alright. It's the middle one. That was the right-hand side. This was the left-hand side. Boom! All the packs out of the box. Let's get in. We're going to try and blow through this, so we're only going to look at uncommons and uh, rares. And we're going to just do a quick peruse of the uncommons. And we got a Consulate Crackdown as our first rare. Let's try to get it in shot there. And a Foil Mountain. Sweet. Foil Mountain's a good way to kick things off. I love Foil Lands. This is also the land that I have like a ridiculously uh, weird copy of. Where it's like um, the, bla the top black layer is missing off of the card. I have that kicking around somewhere which was kind of cool. I found it by accident, really. Uh, it was just like sort of like in. It was in one of the pre release kits. Oh, there he is! The Ether Tide Whale! Alright. The guy that follows me around everywhere I go. Every Ether Revolt thing I do, he's there. Who thinks we'll find a second copy of him before this box is over? Chances are high. Chances are high. Aid from the Cowl. Maybe I should just pull from the back. Is that a better plan? Let's pull from the back and see how it goes. Foil Ether Inspector. And Kari Zev. Skyship Raider. I feel like pulling from the back I'm not as uh, adept at. Maybe because I don't have as much experience and time pulling from the back. Because like I feel like I'm just going to do this. Foil Brawl? Nice. <laughs> ah, there he is. Who thinks we'll open a third copy of him before this box is over? Since we hit two so quickly. Five packs in and we hit two Ether Tide Whales. It's a good sign for this box, right? None of those. Carry Zev's expertise. Man, two Ether Tide Whales in the first five packs. Amazing. Amazing. Winding Constrictor. Seeing a lot of play right now in energy. Rishkar's expertise. Ooh. Tezzeret emblem. All right. Tezzy. Tez my man. Treasure Keeper, Gifted Aetherborn, Ridge Scale Tusker, and Midnight Entourage. So far, the best card we've pulled is Foil Brawl, which is pretty good. I'll say that's pretty good. But there's a lot of stuff that we could find that would be even better. Like a Walker, or a Mimic, or even just a Mythic. Mythic would be alright. Tezzeret's Touch, Sly Requisitioner. Alright, well, I mean, like, listen... You're not wrong, deck, but we're still, Brawl's still the best card. Lightning Runner as our first mythic. Not the mythic you want to see, right? Another Winding Constrictor. Enraged Giant. 
Consulate Dreadnought, and Call for Unity. Call for Unity. Uh. What else we got? What else we got? Foundry Hornet, Hidden Herbalists, Renegade Wheelsmith, and Agonti's Aether Heart. Or Aether Heart. My goodness. Two Mythics. Two Mythics down. Neither of them better than Brawl Foil. <laughs> Cogwork Assembler. Reverse Engineering. Aerial Modification. And Heart of Kiran. Three Mythics. In a, two Mythics in a row. Three Mythics in the last four packs. What just happened? That was the like bottom five packs on the left-hand side had all Mythics in them. Well, I mean, that's not necessarily a good sign for this box. Untethered Express, Tezzeret's Touch, Ridgescale Tusker, and Yehini's Expertise. And the reason I say that is because we've already opened almost the majority of Mythics that we're going to see out of this box in the first column, which isn't always a good sign. Um, Gifted Aetherborn, Narnam Renegade, Hidden Stockpile, and a fourth Mythic, Planar Bridge. Wow, all right. All right. I mean, Heart of Kyrian, I think, is still one of the top mythics in this set, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that's not so bad. Um, but uh, hitting four mythics in the first, like, half of the box, I should just stop, right? If I if I stop now, I can sell the rest of the packs, you know, and, and, not, and not have to worry about there being anything good in it, right? And then there'll be, like, an invention, right? Except that not if I open them. Gremlin Infestation, Illusionist Stratagem, Airdrop Aeronauts, and Oath of a Johnny. Oh my goodness. We haven't even seen any of like the um, the decent uncommons, really. Ironclad, Revolutionary, Lifecraft's Awakening, Spire Patrol, and Yehini, Undying Partisan. I mean, he's not terrible. He's definitely playable. Deft Dismissal, Outland Boar, Fatal Push! We finally found one! And another Baral! And a Foil! Foil Illusionist Stratagem. Baral's fine, I like Baral. Um, he's very good in uh, a number of decks. So, I mean, I'm okay with opening another copy of him. I'm okay with having a Foil copy of him. Reliquary, uh, Renegade Rallyer, I should say. Wow. Scrapper Champion. Reverse Engineer, and an Aether Sphere Harvester. Oh, another foil. Foil Scrounging Bandar. All our foils are going to be in the back end of the box, right? Because uh, we opened all the Mythics in the front end of the box. That's how this works, right? That's how Wizards seeds the boxes, right? They put all the foils on one side and all the Mythics on the other. Uh, Lifecraft's Gift, Lifecrafter's Gift, Renegade Wheelsmith, Siege Modification, and a Peace Walker Colossus. Alright, we need a Metallic Mimic... And a walking ballista. They're only rares. So, you know, you can give them here. They, that's fine. Aeronaut Admiral, Pacification Array, Sly Requisitioner, and a Heroic Intervention. Worth a couple bucks. Not so, not a bad one. Not a bad little uh, rare to, to, to pull. Look at this pack. This pack just like, dis just disintegrated in my hands. Invigorated Rampage, Shielded Aether Thief, Thopter Arrest, and a fifth mythic, Indomitable Creativity. Well, we're definitely not finding another mythic now. We've got five. That's probably about average. But I should say that's that's high average for a box, I believe. Foundry Hornet, Hidden Herbalists, Hidden Stockpile, and a, Mechan a Merchant's Dock Hand. Woo, Merchant's Dock Hand. All right, what else have we got? Bickety bam. Write this: Invigorated Rampage, Illusionist Stratagem, Airdrop, Aeronauts, and a Rishkar. Hey, that's not so bad. Rishkar's all right. He's seeing a lot of play in uh, in the uh, energy decks right now, Sultai and all that kind of stuff. Ornithopter. Who doesn't like an Ornithopter? Perilous Predicament. Monstrous Onslaught, and a Walking Ballista! There we go. We got one of them. We hit one of those pricey, regular rare cards. Rare, rare Mythic, right? Where's that Metallic Mimic, yo? Foundry, Hornet, 
Lifecrafter's Gift, Renegade Wheelsmith, and an Aether Geode Miner. A second foil land? Sweet! You don't normally get two foil lands in a box. You normally get one, maybe. Um, so two is pretty sweet. I'm okay with that. I'm alright with, with that. Entirely. Boom, Ornithopter. Perilous Predicament. Monstrous Onslaught. And a Quicksmith Rebel. Alright, cards. It's time to move over a little bit so that this guy can be in the shot. Bickety bickety bam! Invigorated Rampage. Windkin Raiders. Barricade Breaker and a Free Jam Regent. Oh no. We're coming to the end of this box. Still no invention. Only one copy of Fatal Push. Ha! Huh. Green Belt Rampager. Ha! Bickety Bwarm. Ah, uh, yes. Alright, Death Dismissal. Cogwork Assembler. Vengeful Rebel. And a Solemn Recruit. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. No, wait. That's not the saying. I mean, it is a saying, but it's not the saying. Felidar Guardian. Barricade Breaker. And release the Gremlins. Five Mythic Box is pretty alright. Um, it's unfortunate that we didn't hit some of the, the walkers or things like that. I mean, a Johnny's not amazingly priced, but Tezzeret's alright. Tezzeret's like a $10 ticket right now. Uh, Tezzeret's Touch, Reckless Racer, and Dark Intimations. The good old card that let everyone know that Bolas was coming back. Treasure Keeper, Rogue Refiner. Pacification Array, and Pia's Revolution. Three packs left. Three packs left. We haven't found an invention. We've only found one Fatal Push. We have no Metallic Mimic to show. Shielded Aether Thief. Aerial Modification. Quicksmith Spy. And a Foil Countless Gear Renegade. Welp. Hope is slowly dying here. Renegade Rallier. Enraged Giant. Efficient Construction. And Life Crafters Bestiary. Actually, not a bad little card. I, I like that card. Um, I play it in a couple of decks. Actually, I have it in my cat deck. Um, it works pretty well for a draw mechanic. Salvage Scuttler. Deadeye Harpooner. Consulate Dreadnought, can we have a Metallic Mimic in the last pack? No. No, we can't. Were of Invention. And a foil, but it's not an invention. Were of Invention didn't lead to an invention, unfortunately. It's just a deaf dismissal, which is basically what this box said to me. <sighs> Get out of here. Just, just go. So we opened five Mythics. Pretty good. Foil Brawl. Pretty nice foil rare. Could have been any of these other foil rares. Like any of these other rares, and it could have been a worse foil rare, so Brawl's not so bad. Walking Ballista, pretty sweet. Um, no Metallic Mimic, only one Fatal Push. Not amazing, but also not the worst. Had you opened this box at release, it would have been pretty good for you. Five Mythics is pretty decent. Foil Brawl was pretty pricey back then. Walking Ballista was also fairly pricey at the beginning of the set. He's still pricey now, so that's not so bad. Yeheni's Expertise and Yeheni himself were also a couple bucks. Rishkar was like five bucks, eight bucks, somewhere in there. Uh, you know, so not so bad. Heroic Intervention, also a couple bucks. So, I mean, I don't think we broke even, but we came close. We came close. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget I have a store, nerdvanastore.ca, for all your single needs, as well as a Patreon where you can get discount codes to, those, to that store, as well as things like grab bags, bundles, booster boxes, you name it. Those things are there. Um, thank you so much for watching, and as always, may your pulls ever be better.